just here at the window waiting on the weekly. Hopefully it's a good one. It's this side of the refinery sirens that get tested on a Friday. So that's why we usually hear the Friday one a bit clearer. I found that out from another enthusiast uh, who managed to find it out on the website. I could never find that out. Never figure out why some were... Some weeks we couldn't hear it, some weeks we could hear it louder. But that still doesn't explain why it doesn't go off at all sometimes. Uh, but anyway, don't click off the video after the sirens finish because I have a little story to tell you about this place. Uh, what happened yesterday when I wasn't here. Uh, Yeah, so it's like the dock side of the refinery are we doing there. Their sirens get tested on the Monday. And it's this side over over here that gets tested on a Friday. Uh, I don't think they're gonna do it today. I'll just tell you this little story about what happened yesterday while we're waiting in. I'll shut up if the siren starts, but I don't think it's gonna today, unfortunately. Now yesterday, when obviously I was up at Gustairs, I had to leave here at the back of six in the morning. So I was gone from early doors, if you like. But I was later informed by my flatmate who'd heard on the radio and the news that there was a fire here, a big fire, yesterday. At about ten in the morning, back at ten. Uh, away over there at the dockside, it was one of the ground flares at the jetty complex that, well you can look up the pictures for yourself, just uh, oh it's going off, it's going off It's not loud at all today, actually. I'm about five minutes late with it and it's really quiet. You think after what happened yesterday, there would... <laughs> would be more. Anyway. Yeah, right, it stopped again, so... Yeah. So it was one of the ground flares that you look up the pictures on Google, just type in Grangemouth Refinery Fire. Uh, there's a few news articles and a couple of pictures that people managed to get of it. There's no videos, but there's a few pictures. And basically, it's. Well, the ground flares are supposed to be on fire anyway. They're supposed to. That's what they do. They're supposed to purge the gases in a safer, more economical way, if you like. Uh, but the amount of flames that was coming out of it and thick black smoke, you know, uh, obviously it was clear that something had happened. Uh, uh, Aeneas are calling it an operational incident. Uh, I'm no expert, but what I think may have happened is underneath the ground flares, it's like there's a grill inside them, like a barbecue kind of thing. If you look at it, if you ever get to see inside one. And it's the pipes that come up through there with all the gases that feed it into the ground. The big, it's like a big mass of most of them are square. Some of them are round, like you see this tiny little round one here that we have down over our way. That is a ground flare, but it's not like the big ones up the back that went fire yesterday. They're like 20 million times bigger, big massive square fire pits. So basically, there's like a grill inside them and it's all the pipes that feed the gases through. Uh, and then they ignite when they hit the burners inside that grill. Uh, that's pretty much how it works. And I think that, judging by looking at it and hearing what happened, I think 
it's been a case of one of those pipes has, or a few of those pipes maybe have ruptured up underneath inside that grill or under the ground underneath it that feed it. And it's obviously caused a major influx of gases and chemicals, like over, it's overfed it if you like, and it's just ignited into this region inferno, which you'll see in the pictures, that's what it was. Uh, but it didn't go any further than the, f the, c the fire pit, than the ground flare, to my knowledge. It didn't damage anything else. Uh, everyone's safe, no injuries. But I was really pissed off when I heard about it because I missed it. <laughs> it's like... I don't regret going filming the West End side, and I'd wanted to do that, but... I was away filming something that happens every month. And while I was doing that, I missed something here, on my own doorstep, which might never happen again. And what makes it worse is, not only did I miss out filming the fire, but I missed out filming what probably lots of sirens, because I assume the refinery complex sirens were going off when that happened because it was a complex incident. So I've missed the hormones, I've missed the fire. <laughs> I mean, that's twice. Think of all the times I've filmed the hormones for this channel going off. And that's twice, the only twice since I came to live here that they've went off for real incidents. Yesterday, I assume they must have been going off, but I don't know, nobody said anything about them. And uh, they were going off in 2017 for the gas leak. And back then, I was woke up to that, so I didn't even have time to think and react to film it. That was before I started filming Sirens. So, the next time something happens for real, I really hope that I can document it. Just for the sake of documenting it, I suppose. Uh, but, it was just the irony. <laughs> I'm here all the time, I haven't been going out a lot lately due to my health and stuff. And the one day that I'm 35, 40 odd mile away, something happens right on my doorstep. <laughs> and I miss it. So I'm not going to get over that for quite a while. <laughs> I'm really not, that would have made for an awesome video. Yeah, nobody got hurt so I can say that. That would have been an awesome video, especially if there were sirens going off as well. So I would have been getting dressed and going down there and getting as close to it as I could, but... I imagine a lot of the roads over the dockway and that would have been, like, they would have made sure no one could get near them and stuff, but it wouldn't have stopped me <laughs> trying, so. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you know that, I mean, a few people's probably already heard, some of you probably already heard about it on the news, but, but yeah, so we had a little bit of melodrama here yesterday, but everything, everyone's okay, everything's back in operation as usual. I imagine that ground flare is going to be out of action for a bit. <laughs> uh, but there's like another five, six of them over there. Uh, next to that one, so they'll be alright. Uh, I was quite surprised when I came home last night after I'd heard about it that there wasn't big massive flares everywhere else. I mean, there'd been a bit of flaring the day or two before it, but when the gas leak happened in 2017... The flares were reaching the moon, and it was that way for a whole day or something. Went into the next day, I think. Because that is a safety shutdown procedure, isn't it? Everything has to be shut down, everything has to flare. And if I'm right in thinking that a pipe ruptured inside that ground flare, then obviously they've had to shut down the entire pipeline supply to that whole area over there. So I'm surprised that the flares weren't blaring, even when I came back last night at the back of six. It was quite quiet, it was just little flames that were coming at the chimneys, but I was expecting it to be, you would expect it to be the usual way a refinery goes after an incident, you know, blazing, but I don't know. It's because the f ground flares are in the dock area, it's considered the dock area more than it's considered a part of the refinery, so... But the pipeline still all must be connected, obviously, because it's fuel from the refinery that the ground flares are burning off, so... Well, I don't know how it all works. I don't know how it happened. That's just a random guess I'm taking that something ruptured inside the ground flare and caused an influx of gas that just naturally ignited. Severely ignited, so... Yeah, but look it up and you'll just see some of the pictures of how big it was. And there's a couple of the pictures you can clearly see that close, someone must have got quite close to it because 
you see the ground flare, you actually see the fireballs shooting out of it, this big square thing. <laughs> so like, but yeah, that was that. Sorry the weekly was a bit of a fail there, but uh, I wanted to tell you this wee story about yesterday anyway. I can't believe, I can't believe that I missed it. I can because that's my luck, but oh god. Ah. Anyway. Hopefully Monday's test is better. And later on I'm going to be putting up a quick photo montage of the West End Siren that I managed to get. The pictures are quite dark, like the video was, but there was nothing I could do about that. I turned my exposure up, I turned my brightness up to the max. It's just the angle that it sets it with the sun behind it rather than shining on it. It just, it just, it wouldn't light up for me. So. <laughs> uh, so the pictures are quite dark as well, but there's a couple of them that's quite really smart looking, so. Yep, and that wee montage video will begin up later, so. Yep. Okay, I'll see you all again.